Peter Newman, what is up? There is a rumor going around Vero Beach that you are getting married. First of all, congratulations. As your former youth pastor, I have full faith that you're going to invest every ounce of yourself into this relationship and that you'll love and adore your wife for the next 75 years or so. To the lucky lady, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you, but any friend of Peter Newman is a friend of mine. Peter is one of my absolute favorite humans, and you probably know this by now, but he is a walking cyclone of impassioned creative energy. He's completely original in a world full of carbon copies. To give you a quick example, one Wednesday night back in the late 2000s or so, we had a packed house at youth group, and during a somber moment, Peter, who was maybe 15 or 16 at the time, strolls up to the front of the room in front of a 120 plus teenagers, grabs the microphone out of my hand, and in typical Peter dramatic fashion, says something like, you may never know what results come of your actions, but if you do nothing, there will be no results. And it was like the perfect line at the perfect moment. The, the, the slow clap begins and before long people are cheering. And then Peter goes, words of wisdom, and drops the microphone and the place just explodes. And then it just took on a life of its own. From that night forward, every week, Peter would prepare some sort of insightful or contemplative quote. And then in, in the most dramatic fashion, he would deliver it and the place would just go nuts. So Peter, in honor of your big day, it only seems fitting to give you some words of wisdom. Marriage edition. Number one, love is like a bank account. Make too many withdrawals and you'll end up sleeping on a futon in your parents' basement. Number two, married math is different than single person math. For example, if you have $20 and your wife has $5, your wife actually has $25. Number three, Never make fun of your wife's choices, for you are one of them. Number four, if your wife says do whatever you want, under no circumstances do you do whatever you want. Stand still, don't say a thing, and if you have to breathe, breathe quietly. And number five, these are five simple ways to tell if your wife is mad at you. Number one, if she's yelling, Number two, if she's silent. Number three, if she acts the same. Number four, if she acts different. And number five, if she's punching you. Words of wisdom.